I found a book that you might enjoy. It's called Making Sense of Japanese, What the Textbooks Don't Tell You by Jay Rubin. The purpose of this book is not to teach vocabulary, phrases, or grammar. It's to cast light on some of the more confusing aspects of the language. And while the author attempts to unravel some of the mystery, he only tends to enrich it by illuminating some of the more fascinating aspects of Japanese and by drawing on Japanese literature to explain his ideas. I think the beginner student would enjoy this, and it could definitely plant the seeds for later comprehension. However, the person who's going to benefit the most from this book is the more advanced student who's prepared to understand these concepts. Let's check out online what some other people had to say about this book. It is safe to say that making sense of Japanese is probably the best money you could invest in your quest to master Japanese. Tokyo Today. Brief, wittily written essays that gamely attempt to explain some of the most frustrating hurdles of Japanese. They can be read and enjoyed by students at any level. Asahi Evening News. If you're an intermediate student of Japanese, but haven't yet begun to really understand the language, this book will clear up a lot of your concerns. The author takes a humorous approach to some intimidating topics and yields new insight on other, easier topics which textbooks often leave vague. In each exciting edition of Gengo no Tabi Book Review, I pick out a passage from the book that I'm reviewing and read it to you. This is from the chapter Wa and Ga, the answers to unasked questions. While I read this, I'll show you a page of the book that's too small for you to read because I have to put something on the screen. The fact remains, however, that there's a good deal of overlap in linguistic function between Japanese Wa and Ga and English Da and Da. Since both have to do with unspoken assumptions concerning how much speaker and listener know, both convey some of the subtlest nuances of their respective languages, and both are extremely difficult for foreigners. Even the most accomplished Japanese speaker of English will continue to make mistakes with da and da, and native users of English will probably always have some degree of difficulty with wa and ga. This is surely one of those intuitive areas of language that can only be fully mastered in early childhood. Making Sense of Japanese is available online at most of the sites that you might order books from. Right now at Amazon.com, it's $10.28 US. All the information that you might need for ordering it is down in the description box. If you have any uh, information on this book or any other book that you think we might enjoy reading, please leave it in the comment box. And please rate, share, and subscribe.